Greetings, Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And we're looking at materials and models today. Sometimes when you import models from other applications, in this case I have a DAS 3D model from DAS3D.com that I exported from DAS Studio. And I can see that the model looks a little pale for a T-Rex. And sometimes when you pull in models from other applications, the default material settings on the export or, or something may not translate completely when it comes into Photoshop or even other 3D applications. So, common issue here, specular highlight is way too bright. And what is that? Well, let's have a look. So, in the 3D panel, I'm going to select one of the properties here. And you can see that the specular highlight is set to white, which is really high in this case for the entire model. It looks like all of them are probably that. So, let's go ahead and do a shift select all the materials of the T-Rex. And I'm going to select the color, specular color here. And I'm going to bring this right down. And that looks way better. I mean, I could bring it down to black, but you know, maybe I want a little bit of color in this model. So let's select maybe the part of the T-Rex, see what kind of colors we like. And that seems to work fine, but I'm going to bring it a little bit further down. I don't want them too orangey. And there you go. Now at this point, you could select individual aspects of it, his spikes. Maybe you want his spikes to be really shiny. Maybe you want them to be a little bit brighter. And you can see that they got brighter right there. See, do that dark. See how bright they got? That might be okay. And we can reduce the amount of brightness on there to a, to a finer, finer reflective point there, or highlight, if you will. And there you go. So we can go back and modify each piece if we want to change them. And in this case, I might want his teeth to be a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit like that. And his eyes, I actually want that to probably be a little bit lower because it tends to kind of wash it out. You can see it's bright and then it gets a little bit washed out. I want, to want it I want it to be kind of pop, just pop that darkness out of there. And I can always do a layer and, and fix that up painting in Photoshop. So let's give this, oh, one more thing. So let's look at the skin. The skin, the bumps don't look very, very much. So we can easily select that and bring those out really nicely. I sometimes like to exaggerate them. That's just me. I might even crank it up to something like 30. Looks kind of absurd here, but when you render it, it won't be as, uh, uh, I guess, black and white, very is, is so distinct and sharp as it is in OpenGL here. And you can see whatever you have a map onto, and you can see there's a map icon here. There are no other property material, specific material maps for this, but in this case, this has a bump map, which allows it to change the property of the, the T-Rex here. And we can take a quick look here of what this looks like. I can even do this in the layers panel. I can just double click. And there's the bump map, which looks, you know, looks pretty good. Let's close that file and uh, let's do a render here to get this out of here. So, so if you come across some strange models that have problems that rendering or things that you're not quite sure what's going on, drop me a line. We can have a look and maybe do a video tutorial on it. Benefit other people as well. In the meantime, keep rendering, keep playing in Photoshop 3D. And that is all. Thanks.